Shalom, everyone. Uh, today we'll start the idea of the morning. And we talked already about how there's a difference between the different times, uh, how we calculate them. So uh, before we start in Pnei uh, al I just wanted to share with you uh, a page from Chabad of how they calculate the time in different ways. <clears throat> so if you see here, I hope it's big enough. Um, so this is for the definition of Alot HaShachar, the dawn. So the Alter Rebbe is 120 minutes as degrees before Anitz, which is really 26 degrees below the horizon. And Minhag Eretz Israel, the custom in, in, the, in Israel, is 90 minutes. And the Alter Rebbe, uh, which is a different opinion, is 72 minutes. Um, and so the difference between these three is for the days that we have to fast um, from Alot HaShachar, um, we, um, <clears throat> sorry, the, the days that we have to fast from Alot HaShachar, the question is, uh, are we allowed to eat uh, between those two times, between 120 minutes, 90 minutes, and 72 minutes? And and most post games say that if it will help you fast better and complete the fast, then it's uh, better that you eat up to 72 minutes. And there's even a more lenient opinion uh, of 45, but that's not uh, the normal custom. So that's just an introduction. And according to this page, the calculation of um, the daily uh, proportional hour in Washington, D.C. today is 58 minutes and 55 seconds. See this at the bottom. So, and so we're just we're just about to go to the spring when it will be one hour, but then there's of course daylight saving time. So, and uh, that will complicate things a little bit. So let's go into this. The first time of the day that has halachic significance is known as Amud Shachar or Alot Shachar. Uh, in the case of extenuating circumstances, one may begin reciting the Shema and praying the Amida from the time of Amud Shachar. But under normal conditions, it is prohibited. So there's a, a train ride that one of my friends takes every single morning uh, from uh, Rahat, which is uh, about 20 kilometers north of Beersheba. He takes it to um, Netanya. He lives in Othniel. And so he actually organized the minion on the train. And during the, the winter, it is definitely before a lot of shachar that they're praying. So uh, that's the only time that he can pray in the minion, and they have their own cart, sort of. Uh, like that, they all sit together in the same cart, and that way they ensure that they can concentrate. Uh, and that is extenuating circumstances because that way it's every single day, six days a week, uh, from Sunday to Friday, uh, or maybe not even Friday. Anyway, uh, the Achronim disagree whether Amud shachar is the time when the first glimmer of light appears in the east, that's the Magan Avram Primigadim, or slightly afterwards, when the first light appears, it spreads out somewhat upon the eastern sky, and that's Aliyah Rabbah and Negra. Negra was the Vilna Gaon uh, about 250 years ago in, in Vilnius, Lithuania. So that's the difference between the 90 minutes and the 72 minutes. After Amud Shachar, the time called Mishiakir arrives, which is when enough light has already spread over the earth so that a person can recognize a friend who he is not accustomed to meeting from distance of four amot, from six feet away. So basically, um, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't really know this person, but he recognizes him you know, from the neighborhood or from the supermarket or whatever it is. Uh, and the other definition of Mishiaki or in, in the... In the Talmud is mentioned is the other one, which is at that time it is also possible to distinguish between techelet, the light blue uh, of the tzitzis, and the white. Uh, according to most poskim, the chatchila one may recite kriyat shema then, but the time to recite the amida, the chatchila has not yet arrived. That's the next one. So so far two times. One time is called alot shachar or amud shachar, which is either forty, either seventy two minutes before sunrise or 90 minutes before sunrise. 
and oops that was the wrong button um, and the second one is Mishiakir, which means that when you are able to distinguish between uh, people uh, and, and recognize them or between light blue and white. Um, there was actually another opinion in the Mishnah of R Rav Yehuda, uh, who said, Karti Karti is like teal, and uh, that's a very difficult distinction between light blue and teal. So he was actually being machmir, saying that you can't say the Shema until that time arrives, but we don't pass the according to him because he was a minority op uh, opinion. Uh, the next one is Netzach Hama, the, the sunrise, uh, which is when the first part of the sun is visible. At that moment, the time to recite the Amida, the Chatkila, begins. One who recites Kriyat Shema right before sunrise and prays the Amida immediately with Netz, Nechama is known to be praying Batikin, greatly praised by the Chachamim. So the Chachamim really appreciated that, and Rabbi Herzfeld has uh, basically our, our minag now is to every Rosh Chodesh pray uh, Netz, and uh, there's great powers in that. Um, all of the mitzvot performed during the day, such as Brit Milah, begin at, at sunrise, since the time of day is defined by the sun. However, B'dievet, if they are performed from Omer the Shachar, their, obligation, their obligations are fulfilled because from a certain standpoint, the day begins even when the first glimmer of light starts. Now, why would you have to do Brit Milah, circumcision, at such an early hour? Uh, well, we found out during the 80 years of the Soviet Union of communism that it was forbidden to do a circumcision. So they didn't expect people to be out, out on the street at four o'clock in the morning. Um, and even if they were at four o'clock in the morning, the, the officers could be told, you know, we have an emergency or we're going to see a, 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 a woman who's very sick, uh, which would not really be a lie because... Uh, a, a bris is uh, pretty dangerous and, and so a lot of retot were done uh, at that time of those 72 minutes before the Netzach uh, For the time of, of birth, the morning times don't really matter because uh, the, the Jewish day starts at night uh, and so when we get to the later day parts of, of when Shkia really is and when the stars out are, that's when we'll have to discuss uh, what, how we do a circumcision for a baby that was born in those times because uh, it's a suffix and we're not allowed to break Shabbat, for example, uh, because of a suffix. Um, I just wanted to conclude with one idea from Parshat Vayakel. Um, Hashem uh, tells Moses to, um, to gather the people of Israel um, and it's not clear what the purpose was. So our rabbis tell us that at that point he composed Psalm 90, where he says, where it ends with, <speaking in Hebrew> that may all of the things that we do be blessed by Hashem and be founded because of our love of Hashem. And I think that uh, adding this once a month uh, Vatikin is part of that, that we love Hashem so much that we want to wake up early, even though it's un inconvenient, and, uh, and do at least at least that to, to show that we're getting up early in the morning to, to, to praise Hashem and to thank Hashem. And, and so uh, I think it's beautiful that we're learning that today. And we'll end with that.